Hey guys, I wanted to share with you the Barbicide certification program that we have at our school. Um, this is what the students get after reviewing the program, uh, the course, and then passing the test. You as an instructor get mailed all of the um, amount of the little packets and according to the amount of students that have passed. The students can take the test in as many times as they need to. Um, they do not send um, the student their little packet until they do pass it. So you might have some stragglers. So what they get is a nice uh, cardstock certificate with their name on it and the date they completed it. They get a little sticker that they can put on their, on their mirror. Um, and then they get a little pen and this pen and this pen here has a little rollout and it has just information about the barbicide. So let me share with you really quick this, uh, sorry my husband's opening the door over there. Let me share with you really quick what two other documents that you get. So as the instructor you get this document here and it has your school ID. So the students are going to get that as well because they're going to need that. And that ID number is specific just to your school. So you have two options. One option is you can go to barbicide.com and you can select the Barbicide Certification Program from the main page and you can go ahead and do it as a whole group. Okay, and if, do, if you do it as a whole group, the students have to go individually and make their account, take the test, and then they get an email saying that they passed it. Uh, your second option is that you assign this to the student and the student individually has to go click on the link um, and then watch the slideshow um, course itself and then take the test. Uh, of course, after making their account, take the test, and then they get an email saying that they passed. Once uh, they have those names of the ones that passed, then they send the teacher those um, little certification packets with all the pen and all of that. Um, this is the sheet that has the instructions to it and your options of how to do the program. And then they do send a sheet, which I thought was really nice, that has the school code written on it already. And then it has the directions on how to go through um, the actual program. So for example, if you choose the option that your students are going to individually do this, then um, this would be a great sheet to make a copy of. It has a space to put there for them to write down their login and their password and so that way they don't forget it when they're making the account. Um, when I did it, they did, a lot of them did forget so when they had to go back and retest they had to go through the I forgot my password deal um, and some of, them, some of them had to redo uh, accounts because they had forgotten. Now you can't uh, let too much time pass from watching the actual uh, slideshow to, to doing the test and passing it. It's not very difficult, um, but just to keep it fresh on the students' minds. What I did was I went ahead and when I did this, I had the students, well, I taught the chapter, Salon Ecology, and of course I usually take about two weeks teaching that, but um, on the last week I had them as homework, um, independent study. They did the certification course for this on their own at home. Uh, one year I had them do it at school and then when they got their email saying that they passed, they showed it to me and then that's how I gave them their grade for that assignment. So you can make it a grade, you can make it um, you know mandatory, but it's always great to have something else to offer to the students that they can put on their resume um, before they graduate. So. Um, it's nice little things that they get and you have good instructions. So here's information to the company. When we did it, D. Ross was uh, the program administrator. I'm not sure if that's the same person again because this was about two or three years ago. But uh, regardless, here's the uh, website, the email, and the phone number if you have any questions. Um, hopefully it helps and it's definitely something that I would suggest to offer to your students. Thanks for watching.